Debbie407 on Twitter, and we are here in Soho, New York, where I, I am from Amsterdam, and I have my first real opening in New York, which is like the song, if you make it here, you make it anywhere. So I want to make it anywhere, so I'm very happy that I can be here, right here in New York, opening in this gallery, and that's who I am. Tell us about how you got all these people together through social media. Yeah. I am an artist that is actually an artist from today. I'm not like these old guys sitting in the dark room. I like the wild things in life. Social media for me is like an amazing tool and all these people here are here because of social media. And I am a big, I call myself a social media artist always. It's not because social media tells me what to paint, but I am inspired and I tell my story about pieces through social media. Facebook, but mainly Twitter. Let's take a look at some of your art here and just yeah. tell us what, what inspires you. Where do you get your ideas? Well, as you can see, I'm not inspired by nature. I always say, but I cannot say it out loud, but screw nature, you know, peep nature. I am inspired by cities. Times Square is the ultimate. If it was a woman, I would marry her, you know. And that is my inspiration. Tokyo, Hong Kong is my inspiration. Everything that is fast moving, I like. What do you, when people look at your art, what should they be thinking? I have learned very early that people think totally different things than what I made it into. So I let that go and people can think whatever they want to think about any of my pieces. If they ask me, I tell them the real story. But if they want to believe that it is a woman that with a head on, and I actually think it's a cowboy, then you know it's up to them. I leave them believe that it's what they think it is. Talk about the connection between social media and art. Is there a way that you can get people involved in a piece. Well, actually, Vincent van Gogh used to write letters to his brother in the old days. He was telling him about what he did with his pieces. So in a way, Vincent van Gogh was already also using social media. So I believe that it, can, it tells the story of a painting. I do a lot of in-progress pieces where I just take a picture of the painting half finished. And I think that in the old days that was not possible, but the media today lets me show people an in-progress piece, a finished piece, but also my inspiration and my feelings. If I have a bad day or a bad opening, I will also tell people. So be true to yourself. I am in basically a very happy camper. They always think that I am a HD, you know, I'm a hyper guy, but I am just happy. But there are moments that are, you know, I feel bad when something is delayed or when they change the the way the payment is going, you know, little things that influence me. But art-wise, I have a career. I only started four years ago, and I am skyrocketing really fast. And it is all sealed with New York saying, I love you, so for me, yes. hey, what more can I say? Are we going to get you to move to New York permanently? I would love to move to New York permanently. I will just be a father in three weeks from today. So I might have him grow up in Holland first, in a, in a small, quiet town, and then I will go to New York and become the new Vincent van Gogh. Thank you. They can find me at at Gabby407, at G-A-B-Y 407, or you can find it right here in this video, or Facebook search Gabby Gabby Art. Thank you very much.